just another reason why I love Canada. Um, not just the socialized health care, but Canada, Canada proposes freeze on buying and selling of handguns. After the tragedy that happened in uh, Uvalde, Texas, uh, where in America nobody seems to care. Politicians, I mean, a lot of people care. Don't get me wrong. Politi- m- the majority of politicians dragging their feet to do anything or completely opposed to doing stuff. Uh, a lot of citizens protesting any any actions to be taking uh, against their 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 precious little hobby tools. They're, they're precious little tools that are specifically designed to end life. Uh, but, you know, it's a mental health issue. Defending guns over human life is mental health. Collecting hordes of guns, and, and especially not only collecting hordes of guns, but, like, displaying all of your guns, like, on a driveway or on the floor of your bedroom or in your house... All of your family members posing with your guns in front of the Christmas tree. Every kind of variation of that is a sign of severe mental illness, in my untrained opinion. It is just disgusting. The, just the level of, of like worship people have for tools that are specifically designed to end lives. Tools that are so good at ending life, it is the number one thing that causes death in children. It is safer to be a police officer in America than it is to be a kid going to learn long division. And Canada, as as well as every other developed country in the world, has strict gun laws and don't have these mass shooting issues. They have the same music, video games, mental health issues. All, everything else culturally is the same as America. They just don't have access to tools specifically designed to end life. Hmm. Weird. They have the same amount of doors. It's just crazy. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I watched the Joe Rogan podcast, and he says it's mental health. So it's Joe Rogan knows. He's a liberal, don't you know? So anyway, Canada. I would love to live in Canada if it had better weather. Like, if I have to leave, I would probably go to Mexico. It's better weather. A lot of the benefits that, you know, that you don't have in America. Way way less expensive cost of living but you know canada awesome awesome place um and uh you know i'm sure whatever however minuscule the number of uh gun deaths are in canada this whatever laws they put in place is only going to reduce that number it's that's the Nothing else. You're not going to get more shootings with less guns. Which is completely in contradiction to the delusional people that live in America that think adding more tools specifically designed to end life will limit death in some. Like, it, it's just so delusional how the, the logic that people in America have. Like, if you were to apply that to anything, water causes people to drown. Oh, don't blame water. It's the person that went in the water. The only way to stop water from making somebody drown is to add more water. Oh, COVID's killing people. Okay, let's add more COVID. It is just, it is, it's mind-boggling. And they're all going to be crying in comments from clips of this episode. Uh, uh, it's my right. It's my God-given right. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!
Watch. Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.